Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be making this crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlet served with mashed potatoes and broccoli. So if you guys would like to see more of how I make this recipe, just keep watching. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. So to make this crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlet served with mashed potatoes and broccoli, I'm going to be using two teaspoons of honey, which is right there in that little bowl. Next, I'm going to be adding my um, sour cream to add lots of flavor to this recipe. Along with my sour cream, I'm also going to be adding Frank's Red Hot Original Season Blend. Next, I'm going to be adding my pango breadcrumbs to add lots of flavor to this recipe. Along with my pango breadcrumbs, I'm also going to be adding two teaspoons of butter. Next, I'm going to be adding a Monterey Jack cheese to add lots of flavor to this crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. Along with my Monterey Jack cheese, I'm also going to be adding some fresh spring onions, which is right there. Along with my fresh spring onions, I'm also going to be using this red pepper flakes. Next, I'm going to be using my extra virgin olive oil. Next, I'm going to be using some fresh broccoli, which is right here in that bowl. Next, I'm going to be using my sea salt. If you have regular table salt, you can go ahead and use it as well. Next, I'm going to be using my chicken cutlets, which is right there, about 10 ounces of chicken cutlets. I will be using to make this recipe. Next, I'm going to be using potatoes, which is right there. And uh, that's all my ingredients that which I'll be using to make this recipe. Okay guys, so to make this recipe, I'm going to be using a small bowl, which is right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and add um, half the sour cream in that small bowl right there. I'm going to save the rest for later. And that's what it looks like. It looks good. I'm going to go ahead and add the Frank's Red Hot Original Seasoning Blender. Next, I'm going in with my sea salt to add lots of flavor to this recipe. Next, I'm going to take my spoon and just mix that out to, you know, combine everything together to get a thick consistency. Next, I'm going in with some water, just a teaspoon of water. And then I'm just going to mix that out completely.
and that's what it looks like yeah. okay guys so I'm going to get my second bowl I'm going to go ahead and add my butter in that in the second bowl and next I'm going to be adding the pango breadcrumbs Next, I'm going to be adding the Manchuri Jack cheese to add lots of flavor to this crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlet served with mashed potatoes and broccoli. Next, I'm going in with my Frank's Red Hot Seasoning Blend to add more flavor to this recipe. Then, I'm going to take my spoon and just lightly mix that in. Just combine everything together. And that's what it looks like it looks pretty good I'm going to add the rest of the Frank's red hot season blend and I'm just going to mix that in again okay so guys in the meantime I'm just going to get my pot ready I'm going to make sure the pot is hot I'm going to add some water to it and add my potatoes inside of the pot Okay guys, so I'm going to set that to boil. I'm going to get my chicken ready. So I'm just going to add some sea salt and um, some all-purpose seasoning onto my chicken. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in just to rub that in so that way my seasoning can marinate well into the chicken. Next, what you want to do is that you want to go ahead and add about a teaspoon of olive oil just to grease the baking pan. Next, I'm going to go in and add my seasoning on top of the chicken. And then I'm just going to take my spoon and just lightly press it down. Just like that. As you guys can see, I'm just pressing it down. And that's what it looks like it smells really good with the um, combination of all the seasonings it has like a very nice smell which is good Okay guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my broccoli right there on the side. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it with some sea salt and just add some olive oil to just, um, you know, coat the pan and just make sure that the broccoli are um, fully coated. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to set this aside to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get my spring onion saute in some oil. 
in the meantime while that's sauteing I'm going to go ahead and break my potatoes down getting that ready and that's what it looks like it looks pretty good guys so I'm just going to go ahead right now and then I'm going to add my sauce back onto my potatoes Next, I'm going to be adding my sauteed green onions onto my mashed potatoes. And that's what it looks like. It smells pretty good. So um, after baking for about 15 to 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. That's the final result. It looks good and it smells very good. I hope you guys decide to give this recipe a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.